Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Nate here, and in this video I'm going to be running a Geekbench test of the late 2012 21.5 inch iMac Core i5 model with clocked in at 2.9 GHz. It's got 8 GB of RAM as well as the GT650 uh, M graphics on the inside. So I'll be running the 64-bit version of this benchmark test. So while these benchmarks are running, I just wanted to apologize for the poor audio quality that I had in my Nexus 4 and iMac unboxing videos. I was waiting for my new Canon T4i to arrive last week like it was supposed to, but unfortunately uh, it still hasn't arrived as of now. So I had to use my iPhone to record both of those videos, which does not have that great of audio quality. So uh, hopefully when I do the review then of these two products, the audio and uh, video quality will be much improved. So let's just go ahead and wait for these benchmarks to finish up. All right, guys, so it looks like I got a score of about 9,800. So to put this in perspective, I'll bring up the scores of the other 21 and a half inch 2012 models, as well as the uh, I, the mid-2011 iMac model. So um, as you can see here, if you get the Core i7, uh, the newest model, you can get a score of about 12,500. Then just below this, we've got the 27 inch mid-2011 models. And then here's the model I had. Uh, as you can see, they only gave it a score of 9,071 but I did do better than that. I got a score of 9,800. And then uh, you can also see the baseline late 2012 model, which gets a score of about 7,800. So depending on which models you're comparing, uh, Ivy Bridge you know, gives uh, improvements for the desktop of about 10 to 25%, which isn't you know, all that great. Uh, but Intel's goal uh, with Ivy Bridge was really to bring better integrated graphics uh, with the new Intel HD 4000, as well as decrease the amount of power it took. So those were both great benefits for laptop users however for the desktop you know wasn't that big of uh, performance gain so hopefully next year uh, when Intel has their talk phase when they introduce a uh, Haswell chip that will be uh, where we'll see better performance than gains for the desktop computers um, so basically you know uh, in combination with Ivy Bridge the better graphics options fusion drive more RAM and the new design of the iMac I think this comes together to be a really nice package for Apple so to wrap up this video, then I just wanted to comment on uh, what I had talked about in my unboxing video where I said I wanted to upgrade the parts on my iMac, uh, upgrade the RAM, as well as maybe install my own SSD. Now at that time, iFixit hadn't come out with the report talking about uh, the difficulty of removing the screen of the iMac because the glass and LCD are actually fused together. So you have to remove it as one unit and use guitar picks as well as uh, a hair dryer to actually try and remove that. So uh, that is quite difficult, and I'm not sure if I do want to do that at this point. Um, other world computing last year did offer a service where they would upgrade your iMac which is was actually cheaper uh, than the cost of uh, Apple upgrade or purchasing an upgraded model for Apple so if they offer that service again I might do that if it comes out that it's really not that hard to remove the screen I might also just try to upgrade it myself the third option then is if I decide you know I'm too scared to do that myself don't want to risk damaging my computer I might go ahead and return this model and get one with a fusion drive as well as upgraded RAM so I'll let you guys know on that thanks for taking the time to watch this video and I'll catch you guys later